love bugs is rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed today i'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you if this is your first time coming to my channel welcome namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you and if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Like and even share if you feel free. And if you feel comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or, a line or two on the content of my video. You can tell your experience. I love to get the positive feedback. It is greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing the love and support. And for my returning subs, what's up fam? Thank you for the love and support as always. Much love to you. Namaste. Love and light. Love and blessings. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you for, so much for the support is always today i'm listening to 852 hertz of healing music awakening intuition removes all negative blocks and pure positive vibes that is a that is a really good really 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 good meditation so hopefully you enjoy i will go ahead and put the link in the description box below Today my video is about Twin Flame 101, learning that you're a Heoka. There are so many people who are starting to gravitate towards my channel that are just now starting to find out, you know, what <clears throat> the Heoka is. It's a sacred clown. That people, they wondering why, you know, they take the harder route on letting things go. They're, you know, they're... It's so hard for them to be able to give people advice about their issues and problems and relationships, but we we just get, it feels like a conundrum to us <laughs> about our issues. And it's just a good feeling where you can actually put a name on what you are. You know, it's like when you're learning that you're a hey, okay, a lot of people really don't know. It's just you're a person that you know you're a clown you know you might have been known as a class clown you might have gotten trouble in for it you know you don't like the bs you don't like people messing around with other people you know bullies you know bigots any racism we don't like stuff like that we we're always like you know trying to grow different walks of life we're not prejudiced towards anything we're you know we're anybody that comes into our life we're mirroring on things that they need to change on things that you know we might need to change um helping others guiding them towards where they need to be learning okay this is what it is you know they actually got a name for this you might have even had you know a traumatizing childhood you probably your parent your mom probably had difficulty giving birth to you you were already doomed from the womb to be dealing with this. Like I call it, it's doomed from the womb. But it's a, a good doom. Because even though we go through the hardship, we go through the BS, we go through with people kicking us and knocking us down. But we always try to find the good in things. You know, and it's just like, that's a, a really powerful empath when you can go through some really hardcore stuff. Because it's just like, people will probably listen to your story and say, you survived this. Or, you know, you went through this and you didn't do anything to anybody? Or, you, how did you get over stuff like that? Because it's just so many things we have gone through. And it's just our life lessons and on our journeys, our mishaps and setbacks can be a story of helping people heal with their own problems. You never know. You really never know. And it's just like, that's why I felt so like compelled to be able to tell you guys my life story my you know my love books my life story and telling you how the things i've gotten through and i'm still going through things and still trying to let go of things but it's became, becoming a lot better a lot easier you know there's some days that you know i might have a drawback and things like that but it's just like my thought process you know where you have those negative voices you have those negative memories so it might pop up and you're just like why can't i let this go but it's okay it's okay to have memories that's that's 
and you know we're all human but long as you don't act out on those memories you know when you feel like there's a negative energy that pops up in your life or a negative memory that pops in your life just think of it as a balloon that you know you have to let go of you know just see it on see it on its way you know don't dwell on it don't try to hold on to that balloon just let it go you know, and it, it, I mean, it just seems so more, much more peaceful because I noticed that a lot of things that I'm starting to let go, you know, the things that people have done to me, you know, the things that people have taken away from me, you know, I, I couldn't dwell on things like that anymore because I have much more greater things to put my energy in. And it's just, you always have to keep telling yourself in that mindset, your blessings are bigger than your problems. They are. Because you wouldn't be going through this for a reason. You're going through a lot of hell for a reason. Because you're being prepared for something. And it's just like, and it's a blessing to actually know that there's more people that are like, hey, you have came up with, you have, thank you, you have, you have came up, finally I found a word that relates to the things that I've been doing for years and trying to understand why do I do the things that I do? Why do I always joke around? Why when I see people sad, you know, I always try to cheer them up. I've been like that since I was a little girl. It was like I could be three or four, and I used to, you know, when we used to be in Germany, I used to walk up to people and just give them hugs because I can feel their energy at that that time. This person needed a hug today. You know, this person needed that today. They really felt like that. I mean, especially if you're a cute kid and you go hug somebody, that'll brighten up anybody's day like that. This kid just came up and hugged me and it made me feel good. You know, nowadays you can't really do that. You know, you get snatched up and stuff like that. But, you know, it's a good thing when you can actually brighten up somebody's day and know that. You know, hey, I know is is learning. You know, I'm learning more about myself, and it's just the more things that I learn about myself, and the more testimonies that I feel like I need to put out there. I go ahead and make these videos, and just like spirit guys say, hey, you know what? You, you got a you got a testimony or a story you need to tell them today, or something that you just feel like you need to express. You know, go ahead and put it on. You know, put it on video, put it out there for them to see. You know, because there, I know there's a lot of people who are going through this and trying to figure out, you know, is this what I truly am? You know, look it up. You know, Google is my best friend. You know, I learned a lot of things, you know, from watching different videos and looking up stuff about what the sacred clown is all about. And, you know, how do we go through things and why do we go through these things the way we do? And, and it's a really good thing because that lets you know that you have a lot of strength. And even though you might not realize it half the time, you have that hidden strength that you're trying to open up to yourself. And it's just like when you have that ego that's fighting with you, it's just like, you know, you know you're willing, you're about to come through your breakthrough. But I'm not trying to hold you up today. You know, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, go ahead and drop me a few lines if you feel like you're comfortable. I, like I said, I love to get the positive feedback. And thank you so much for the love and support. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Keep me in your prayers and I will definitely keep you in mind. And I will see you on my next video. Namaste. Peace. Love.